So fans obviously love an Easter egg and I feel like this is the home Small of the Good Easter Omens eggs. Easter eggs. Um, are you able to show us any of your favourite? This bookshop and, and, and being in it, I can talk about this more than anything, is the fact that even, even if it's not scripted, between the lines of what Neil writes is the emotional moments that you feel and see. If I can tap into what we all feel generally, then we've, we've actually got a visual language for the project. And that's where I start. And f so therefore, everything to me is about written work. So my feeling was that the bookshop needed to be on a crossroads. Technically, it gave me a starting point. So if you imagine, if you say you're on a crossroads, then that gives you a front door, gives you two windows, two points of view. Then you come into the middle of the room because the middle of the room has got to be where the portal is that he travels to heaven. So the oculus, which is a skylight in the roof, became to me a compass face. And could I trouble you to take us around a little bit yeah, and show absolutely. us what you're kind of <laughs> proudest of? Originally, this desk, Bronnie found this desk, um, this beautiful big desk, and we wanted the biggest desk we could so that we could open it up and, um, and put all the details in there for, uh, yeah, and make it feel like it, it, once you sat here, you would never leave it. You know, that you could sit here all day and just start looking over everything that is important to Aziraphale and all his Bibles and his collection of books. And everything's marked and he's got little tags in it that he's looked at or read or referred to. Well, he was, uh, he, he loves 78 records, so we got him a lot of pianola uh, 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 reels as well and music. This heater here, this old heating system was about making his chocolate. He makes chocolate on top of his heating system and drops us down to double the heat and then uh, makes his chocolate with all of this hot water that comes from the, the sink, the old sink around the corner. These tiles are all hand painted by the, um, uh, by the lead graphic artist, Michaela Rausch. This is his uh, beautiful boot making, Indian boot making um, um, cleaning uh, equipment so he can polish his boots up and shoes. And this was a special cupboard he used to keep all these programs. That's his old computer, because he's got an area that he's got an old computer uh, in the book, and he never went beyond an old computer and his old paperwork. Not that he ever sells a book or he's interested, but we had this little office area. Uh, this is Terry's hat yeah. and, and Terry's scarf. It's, every day we film here, it's, it's, in the, it's in the shop, left in the shop. You know, a lot of people might just call it background, but it's not background. It's, we need Michael to, to feel this as much as anything else, and he does. And um, we loved it and delighted to see actors' faces when they come in and be part of this because they become those characters. They, they are the, the, the room is them, and, and, and they submerge themselves within it, you know. Yeah, Everyone this is does. so much of what makes up a zero family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And there's a, a lovely moment in season two, I believe, where the Good Omens book makes an appearance in the bookshop. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> I love moments like that. And I think fans are so interested to know, you know, what's the, how do you decide what books go on the bookshelves? Well, it's interesting because I spent like almost half a day here yesterday just doing books. Because these books could all be pushed back and be flat. You can see these are, feel like they've been used or looked at and in fact that's just how they're dressed and people know it's a real book not a fake book all of a sudden it's got weight and all these things do mean a lot in the whole collective um, you've got to actually follow it all up you know and it's so true to you know the show as well because season two is full of you know Aziraphale pulling out a book and yeah, Crowley right. playing around with that's stuff right. in the bookshop yeah exactly